Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can downgrade from iOS 16.3 to iOS 16.2. Now the reason you might want to do this is because iOS 16.3 might cause some battery problems or it could cause some of your apps to crash, so I'll be showing you how you can fix that. So first off, you need to go into settings and go to general, then scroll down to the bottom to where it says transfer or reset iPhone. Next, press on reset and tap on reset all settings, then press on that again and press on it one more time. And now just wait for this part to load. Now once your iPhone has reset, go ahead and plug in your iPhone to your computer using an iPhone charging cable. And once you've done that, go ahead and log on to your computer. Now once you've logged on, you'll get a trust notification on your phone asking if you want to trust the computer. So go ahead and press on trust and type in the passcode for your phone. Next, go onto your search engine and go on to IPSW.me and then select whether you're using an iPhone or an iPad and select the model of that device you're using. I'm using the iPhone SE 2020, so I'm going to be selecting that. Then select iOS 16.2, or if there's any other signed IPSW, so you could also choose to downgrade to that. Then scroll down to where it says download and press on it. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're going to go onto our phone and go into settings. Next, go to the Wi-Fi. And because we reset the settings earlier, we're no longer connected, so we have to reconnect back to the Wi-Fi. Now, once that's been done, go back over here and press on your profile at the top, then select Find My and go into Find My iPhone, then disable that and type in your passcode. Now, once that's done and your file is finished downloading, go onto Finder if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows computer, go onto iTunes. And if you don't have it downloaded, then just go onto the Microsoft Store and download it here. Now, once you have that opened, just press on your device icon at the top left corner, or if you're using a Mac, then just press on your device at the side of the window. So now, if you're using a Windows computer, hold down on the shift key, and if you're using a Mac, hold down on the option key and press on restore iPhone, then press down on the file that you just downloaded and press on open, then press on restore, and now you just need to wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading. Now that your iPhone has been downgraded, you'll see that all the data has been cleared, so just go ahead and set up your iPhone, and once that's been done, you'll see that your iPhone will be running iOS 16.2.